you are often sought out by the media. There mm -hmm. is uh, a documentary film in the works mm -hmm. about you. Is that being in the spotlight something that comes naturally, something you grudgingly put up with? Where does it fit in your life? I'm getting a lot more used to cameras and microphones and uh, sound, but it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't come easy still. It's uh, fairly, uh, feels very awkward at times. I think all the media outlets in the city have my cell phone, and I believe really strongly that when they need something, I should help them learn it or see it or whatever. I believe they have a, a great role in, in interpreting issues to the public. You know, I always try to say, like, there are 40 other nurses doing what I'm doing, because my mother thinks I'm the only one that's <laughs> doing this. I have to tell her, no, there's like 40, you know, it's not just me. And, um, you know, a lot of people are out there too, like not just me. So, can you see the day when you are the more stereotypical nurse? You return to the sort of nursing you perhaps had in mind when you were in nursing school? No, <laughs> no I think um, I've been a nurse 30 years now this year, and that is kind of hitting me a little bit, thinking, oh boy, 30 years. And I think. Um, I think a more natural progression, you know, is I'm going to somehow move into the field of housing, at, more like housing advocacy or using my expertise on homelessness around housing. I don't quite know. I like teaching, but I don't think I would want to teach full time. So, but I don't think I'll ever kind of be able to go back uh, to what's seen as the traditional kind of nursing role. And I feel okay about that because there are so many um, young and also middle-aged uh, incredible like street nurses and community nurses. I feel that like that's, that's fine, you know, so I can move on and maybe, um, you know, work on a policy level or it's hard to know. You must see things every day that make it hard for you to keep going, what what keeps you going? I feel like um, I feel like my office or where I work out of should be like a war room. It should be like called the war room, and on a daily basis, we're a group of us, um, a very I should say small handful of people to be honest, with a lot of supporters are strategizing, in, I think a brilliant fashion on everything from how to get the armories open to convince convince the federal government to come back to a national housing program, which they did at the end of November 2001. They said they would never do it, and they've done it. So I guess that's what gives me hope, is this crazy notion that we'll, we'll win, and people will um, have access to housing and hopefully safe, safe shelter in the, in the meantime. Kathy Crow, thanks so much. It's, it's very good to talk to you. Thank you.